All right, hey everyone. I'm currently at Disney World. I'm at Epcot right now um, during the Food and Wine Festival. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you everything I eat in a day at Disney World. It's currently 10 a.m. Having an anything and I'm starving. Um, game plan for today is we have one really big meal at like four. So we're just like get a snack of the day and try different things. Breakfast, we're starting out kind of weak. I promise it'll get better and more interesting. We're just at, we went to Seasons. Um, so tell me I went to get the food. I just got a blueberry muffin from there. There's like no breakfast options at Epcot. I'm not expecting much here. Um, it tastes like yellow cake. It's kind of dry and not fresh. So I'd rate it a five. I'd eat it, but it's like not exciting for Disney food. So. Yeah. Okay, the time has come to try our first food and wine thing. We have snacked since I talked last. It's currently one. Um, we try to bring healthier snacks since food in the park just makes you feel gross. So I feel like chomps, apples, some crackers. Um, but we got these pumpkin butternut squash, I think, raviolis. It's $5.50 for three noodles. Mm. That's yummy. I like that a lot. It's a little cold. Thoughts? Oh, that was good. I'd rate it um, if good. a seven. It would be higher if it was warmer. I'd probably go at eight. It's at, we're like over by, it's right, yeah, as you enter in the countries by the land pavilion. Anyway, we'll see you with our next little food. We just got both food items. Sorry, the lighting's really harsh at this hour. From the Brazil is like a cheese bread, and then this. I'll pop up what they actually are. It's like pork belly, pesto, beans, and rice. Which I've never had pork belly before, so we're gonna try it. It's very hot. Tastes good. I feel like this tastes like what me and Ray made in our cooking class. I don't know how to explain it. It's not like a biscuit, but it's like a doughy roll cheese. I don't know, but it's good. This is a really bad idea. It's not my dominant hand. Huh. It's decent. It's salty. But it's like a good amount for the price. I rank it like a six. It's kind of dry. But the flavor is there. And I rank the bread also six. So we went to the Alp station, we got their chocolate fondue dip, but the chocolate fondue, you like can't see it on camera, it's like separated with like chocolate and oil, it's like chunky and separated, like really odd. I have a raspberry. It's good. It's really dark though. This came with raspberries, strawberries, blackberries, whatever this is called, I forgot the name of it. And then pound cake. It's a good midday sweet. That's not too sweet because it's like really, really dark chocolate. Like really dark. Good. It's a good change of pace. Some sugar in the body. Hey, bye. Yeah. I tried to get my family to do it. No one wanted to do it. That's pretty yummy. I'd rate it a seven and a half. It needed more things to dip in the chocolate. You can give it an eight, but an eight. But, yeah, you're right, even number of things. See so what we have next. It's currently 6.05. Just went to the Canada Pavilion, um, to the steakhouse for like lunch slash dinner. We don't really know, but we ate it. Um, so first off, they had a bread service, which had like a pretzel bread and like a sourdough bread with like a yummy flavored butter. Really enjoyed that, as I always do with bread. And then I got, we got the shrimp cocktail appetizer. Really good, no complaints there. And then I got the steak and the mac and cheese. The steak was really good, really well seasoned. I'm um, not dry. And the mac and cheese was good. It was like Gouda cheese. It wasn't super heavy. It was like topped with breadcrumbs, but yeah, it was delicious. I've been there multiple times. Really, really good. Also highly recommend their cheese board. I'm gonna walk around and digest 
before we try more fusion wine things. Um, fun fact, we're in England right now, but look. It's Mary Poppins dress, that's fun. Also, I traded some pens today, so I'm gonna show you the pens I got. This is a very interesting angle. Wow. And these, I'm realizing, okay, these are pens I've traded the last two days. I've gotten only the Fab Five, which is like not what I normally do at all. This black and white Mickey, which I think is fun. It's apparently a limited release, so. It says Minnie in a spaceship. And then Mickey looking all, looking all sporty. So, apparently I'm just collecting Fab Five pins now. Also, got a little something something from Canada. Got some PJ shorts and mooses and bears on them. Anyway, I thought they were funny. So. And then in England, got some snacks. I'll do a taste test later tonight when I'm less full. Um, I got a dark chocolate orange. I'm very excited to try these. I've seen these all over. I normally get milk chocolate, but I'm a dark chocolate gal. And then I got these like shortbread jam raspberry cookies. Hoping I like them. Anyway, that's all. It's currently 7.07. I just tried on some perfume from Norway and I think I really like it, but I actually don't know. So, from Asia, we have a bubble tea. Mango peach. Mango peach bubble tea. I'm not a tea drinker and I've never had boba tea. So, let's give her a try. I thought we changed it and we had a drink. There's food too, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, there's ice in it. Tastes good, tastes like, just tastes like a mango drink. Oh, not a fan? It's a little strong for me. It is strong. I like it though. I was expecting it to look more fun than this though. Okay, what do we have here? Dumplings. Chicken dumplings? Food. Gliding around in there. Oh, these are really cold. Like, cold. Sauce is good, not too spicy. Good flavor profile. It's cold. It's not like anything better than you get at like any Chinese restaurant. Seven, six. I don't know what I changed about it than heat it up, but it doesn't wow the palate, some might say. Okay, what is this? Okay, my gallon. You. Try the needle first. Okay, noodles are good. Great needles. Love the needles. If you want to know some fun Disney life hacks we've done today, best spot to snack, Spaceship Earth. That ride's so boring. You sit there, look at the cavemen, watch the stars, and just set up a little picnic. We had fruit and crackers going. Set up a little picnic. The ride's so long, get all your eating done. The shrimp just tastes like breaded shrimp. Maybe some pepper. It tastes good with the noodles, though. I think I like this better than the other thing. Extremely full. But I am excited for whatever dessert I get tonight because we all know I'm gonna get one. See y'all then. All right, our day at the park is done, but I didn't want to taste test the food from England. Okay, I'm gonna start out with the dark chocolate orange. I'm curious, I'm just confused because in my mind this is like a real orange, but there's no way it is because it would be bad. Is it like an orange jelly? I'm confused. Okay, if you get sliced up like this, and it has like, yeah, the texture of an orange. I'm so dumb. I thought this was like chocolate coated orange. And it's literally just dark chocolate with orange in it. That's so upsetting. Cause it's just, yeah, it's just like orange extract. Next we have these. This is not what I was anticipating. It's so much less sugary than American sweets. Jam, but the cookie itself is softer than I thought. More biscuity. Which makes sense. I like them. I don't think I like crave them, but they're like good for like a sweet treat that's not super heavy or whatever. I like it better than the orange. The cookie's not sweet at all. It's almost more savory in a sense, but 
that's that thanks for watching this video i hope y'all enjoyed um seeing all the foods they offer i've got hopefully y'all had inspo know what you want to get what you don't or just entertained so yeah i'll see y'all next video bye